Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Arch Linux as a guest in the VM Beehive on the FreeBSD. So to start, we need the ISO file. So you go to archlinux.org website, then go to download section, and then worldwide, let's say, the first one, and then we need a link to this file. Right click, copy link location, go to terminal, make sure you root, and type VM ISO and just paste that link. So right now, uh, VM Beehive will download ISO and store it in the registry, local registry. The file is downloaded, uh, we should uh, copy template for Arch Linux. So we say copy forward slash user local share examples VM Beehive Arch Linux conf to zero to VM templates. Now let's open that file just to make sure it's there. Uh, and also we need to edit a couple of things. So for CPU, I'll say I want to use eight cores and I want to use 60 gigs of RAM. And then where you see VM Linux, you should add dash Linux. That's number one. So this part is really important. This part is really important. The next thing is, instead of arch iso dot image, we need init ram fs dash linux dot img. So these two two parameters were wrong. These two files paths to files were wrong. So we need to use the right one. And there is one more thing we need to to check, and that's this label. It should be fixed to match the year and the month we downloaded the of ISO file that we downloaded. How you can find that, you can type just VM ISO. And here it says it's 2020 11. So basically, according to this, we need to, to fix this value to be 2020 11. Just don't type dot or anything else. Because this first part is year, the second part is month. Save exit. Let's create VM from template Arch of size 100 gigs with name of virtual machine Arch. Now uh, we need to install in foreground inside the Arch VM, which ISO file Arch Linux ISO. And if everything is correct, it should be, it should run in the foreground the installer should run in the foreground and we should be able to get to the bash. So far, so good. There were a couple of gotchas, as you saw in uh, Arch Linux, in comparison to, to Alpine, uh, which I previously recorded. So just type root. And uh, now we just follow the installation guide from here. All right. So I'll need to partition my hard drive. Uh, let's say disk dev s. Uh, it's actually vd vda yes. And then uh, let's create the partition primary esp one default first sector default. Last sector, let's say I'll use 256 megabytes. So you type plus 26, uh, 256M. All right, first is created. Next one, new, primary, partition two, and just 
that I'll use the whole the rest of the parti the, the disk as another partition. That's it. This is a simple setup. There is no swap. There is nothing else. Let's see what we have. P. So we have Linux and Linux. That's it. All right. I'll type W. Enter. Uh, table has been that partition table has been altered. Uh, calling IOCTL to reread partition table, syncing disks. All right, everything is fine so now, so far. So right now, what I need to do, I need to put some system. This uh, just created the partitions. So on first one, I'll put x2 dev VDA, and that's going to be VDA1. On the second one. I'll put uh, X4, where the system and the home driver and everything else will be mounted. Okay, so now, uh, next thing we want to do, we want to mount dev VDA2 to, to slash MT, MNT, then mkdir uh, MNT boot, and I'll mount. dev vda1 to mnt boot all right so this is good and now what we need to do we need to do a pack strap this is the pacman bootstrap so it's a pack strap uh, where we want to install uh, our uh, packages from repository uh, arch Linux repositories it'll be a uh, slash mnt and then what we want to install, we want to install base Linux, Linux firmware. I'll also add something else here. I'll also get grub and open SSH. And let's say Vim. So base Linux, Linux firmware, grub, also open SSH and Vim. All right, it should, this, this should be enough to start. Enter. And now we wait while Pacman bootstraps uh, environment inside of forward slash MNT. Everything is installed. That's good. So right now, let's see what's the next step. The next step is actually generation of F step. Great. Next step. Let's uh, arch ch root MNT. Great. Then we need to set the appropriate time zone, LNSF, user, share, zone, info, UTC, Etsy, local, time. And then we need to adjust clock, sync, sys to hardware clock, all right. Next thing is, it says edit uh, Etsy local.gen and then uncomment UN this one. ENUS UTF 8, UTF 8. All right, let's now exit. Create. Next thing is run the local gen. Great, then edit Etsy local conf and edit this line, lang equals n, actually locale that we just enabled. Uh, VM console, I'm gonna skip this part, I really don't care, uh, hostname. So VM Etsy hostname and just I'll type arch and that's the same as the name of the virtual machine. All right, after that, I will uh, regenerate uh, again the initramfs and the kernel, rebuild the module required. So you see it's in this position actually, boot initramfs linux.image fallback. All right. Let's just say ls boot, and there is also VM Linux Linux kernel. All right, great. Then let's set the password for the root. 
great. And then we need to go to bootloader page and set up the bootloader. We'll use the grub. And we already installed grub. So we are going to say just VM install target this da, 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 and then say where we want to install it. So dev VDA. Yes. This is disk, not a partition. Okay, thank you so much. Finished, no problems. This is great so far. Then we need to do a config, grab and key config, and you just run this command. That's it. So you can check how this config looks like. Cat boot grub grub dot config. This got just generated, everything is fine. Okay, we are done here. I'll also do arch wiki add user. Let's also add uh, Pacman sudo. Yes. And when I add this user, it will be in will. Additional group. And the name of user will be mtasic. Now let's set password for mtasic. Excellent. Uh, also, system CTL enable SSHD. Yeah, excellent. So now we also have uh, enabled the uh, Open SSH SSH daemon in the background. IP address. This is the address inside of the inside of the virtual memory inside of the virtual machine. All right, well, now I need to, to exit the CH root, control D. Now unmount MNT boot and then slash MNT. We're fine. The copy. So copy. And I'll save this somewhere. Arch-grab.txt. Let's say arch.conf. And then we need to modify something here. Grab run zero. And then we need to copy Linux, then everything here. And then we have run one, and that's for init. That's for init RD. Just copy this line. That should be it. Save. Let's do VM list. Let's see where we are. Let's start Arch now. It's booting. Let's go to console. It's working really nice. Let's log in as my user just to confirm. That Excellent. So Arch Linux, we successfully installed install the Arch Linux. So the trick was when you do when you install 
you need to see what was your uh, grub conf file. Make sure you save somewhere these two lines, this line and that line, because you will need to edit arch.conf uh, again into templates. So the final, finally should look something like this with these extra two lines. So we should go theme Etsy resolve.conf and we need to add a name server and make sure you type sudo in front of me <laughs> or edit this as a root. one 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 and name server eight 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 let's try now pacman uh, still doesn't work sudo system ctl enable that all right now let's start it let's say ep address still nothing we need to basically create this file sudo vim network inside just copy paste this part and here we need to use the right um, network interface so net work CTA list in this case it's EMP 0 s5 copy this one go back to that file and then just use it use the HCP ES all right and now I will restart systemd networked if I say IP address now Yes, I got an address and I should be fine. So let's reboot. sudo reboot just to make sure that after reboot network works. Fantastic. I have uh, IP address works great let's now do a sudo pacman update of the system great everything worked uh, so this is our address i'll try to connect from outside ssh and asic at and i'll use this ip address from here here do we want yes what's the password great it worked so i can ssh into a virtual machine and this should be it it was a little bit more complex install uh, i really wanted to, to show you like the raw <laughs> the essence of installing the arch as a virtual machine and in general like this is arch you do absolutely everything manually uh, and we use the system d network the daemon for the network uh, managing network so i didn't want to i could manually set up network and use some daemons like vict or, or network manager or something but i didn't want really i wanted to use uh, what's actually available after the default install uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next videos goodbye